Okay, this is the uh, Ibis Style Hotel in Nagoya, and we have our bags already prepared for checkout. Those are our two bags with uh, our backpacks. And this is the marketplace where we have our breakfast and lunch. It's very, very nice with yummy, yummy foods and unlimited drinks. That's the facade of the Ibis Hotel as we take a taxi going to this place called Nagoya Castle. We just wanted to make sure we don't get lost. And uh, we're here already at the, uh, at the place which took us only, uh, I would say, about less than 10 minutes. We could have uh, done the subway and save a lot of money. But of course, uh, uh, that means to say we will have to walk. So going home, uh, that was the plan. It was to take a subway. And here's Berna. Uh, she's paying for the entrance, which costs us about a thousand yen for both of us. And this is the famous... Nagoya Castle. It's a very huge castle <clears throat> where you can just walk around, chill around, take a lot of uh, Instagram pictures. And I heard this is uh, one of the places where the samurai uh, were living before. And that's Berna having a lot of pictures. And me as his uh, videographer and photographer. These are the sightseeing of... Uh, a lot of places in Japan because they have so many uh, castles and temples and most of them are actually Buddhist temple and so many trees so nice to walk around the various sites of the castle <clears throat> and look at those stones huge stones <clears throat> upon you enter and we're about to just enjoy everything as we go around and that's the poster of the uh, famous castle yes there's so many japanese uh, also uh, acting as tourists in their own country and uh, that's the reason why they don't probably leave japan because there's so much interesting things to do in their country yes and you can do it just by uh, train by bus and if you have the um, uh, JR Pass that's the, be that's the best way to do it is uh, using the uh, JR Pass because you can go to any place you want uh, in, uh, in a small time like if you uh, go by car it will take you about 10 hours but if you go by bullet train oh you can be there probably in one hour that's the beauty of Japan you know uh, their master plan in building uh, the, uh, all the tunnels, all the subways, their bullet trains. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Um, everything is modern. And the best part is that, uh, you know, the Japanese culture is just unbeatable. They are the most honest people. And uh, <clears throat> they're, the, they're the kindest people you can ever uh, meet. <clears throat> if you ask a question, you always get an answer. But of course, sometimes you need the translator. But uh, one thing for sure, they're always willing to help. That's the beauty. Unlike if you're another country, <clears throat> they don't have time to talk to you. And uh, you'll get a snub face. Yes, it's you're on your own, but you're in Japan. People are willing to help. If you, have, if you lose something, you can get it back. If you have a question, they're willing to uh, to talk to you and help you out. And uh, the translator actually really works. You know, uh, you can speak in English and it converts into Japanese. So this is the end of our tour with a very very nice fountain. And enjoy the pictures and enjoy Nagoya.